Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, November 30th, 2023. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. A new class of drugs is helping make progress in the fight against obesity. However, Editor-in-Chief Sarah Copet reports the global travel industry isn't yet ready for a shift that could have a colossal impact on businesses. Copet notes the so-called Ozempic era could benefit crews and tour operators and airlines, businesses that have food as a cost. For example, the more an aircraft weighs, the more fuel it takes to fly. Bloomberg cited one analyst who thinks United Airlines could save $80 million a year if the average passenger lost 10 pounds. But there could also be losers, travel companies that count on food as a revenue generator, such as hotels and entertainment venues. Even a small decrease in spending on food and drinks while traveling would hurt. Next, several next-generation travel products have been revealed at the Amazon Web Services ongoing conference in Las Vegas, writes travel technology reporter Justin Dawes. Dawes cited the Amazon One Enterprise, a kiosk that scans the palm of the hand to verify a person's identity, as one product that could help hotels and airports operate more efficiently. AWS said the tech is meant to help turn companies away from traditional security access measures, like fobs and passwords, that can lead to security breaches. In addition, AWS revealed some new generative artificial intelligence capabilities for Amazon Connect a platform that companies can use to streamline operations in customer service contact centers. Choice Hotels is already using some of those capabilities in its customer service contact center. Finally, Virgin Atlantic Airways completed a transatlantic flight this week using only sustainable aviation fuel. The company is calling on the UK government to provide more support for the greener way of flying, reports Edward Russell, editor of Skift publication Airline Weekly. Virgin Atlantic CEO Shea Weiss said the flight was important to show that sustainable aviation fuel could fully power a flight across the Atlantic safely. Russell notes the fuel is considered to be the holy grail of its decarbonization efforts, but the global supply of sustainable aviation fuel is limited, and Weiss urged the British authorities to provide a price support mechanism to help bring down its cost. Russell writes, most airlines are clamoring for a mix of sustainable aviation fuel mandates, and financial support. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skift listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.